Hi, welcome to this Alkalinux B-Box. We are on a challenge to use plasma. And I've waited long enough and my fingers have been going to my keyboard and assuming that some of the keyboard's shortcuts would work and are not. So we have not put all our XFC OpenBox i3 BSP WM awesome and all the different kind of um, desktops we have and put our keyboard shortcuts in here. One reason is Plasma is a complex, complete desktop. It has already lots of keyboard shortcuts, but not specifically the ones we want or need. So I leave it up to you to make your own keyboard shortcuts, one and two. When you've done that, you can export it so easily. So you have a file, put it away, OneDrive, I don't know, um, Google Drive, anywhere, Dropbox, an external hard disk. And when you do a clean installation for Plasma again, you import custom keyboard shortcuts again, and there you go. No more uh, long work and tedious work to make all these keyboard shortcuts again and again. So where is this feature? We have here system settings. Let's open it on the first screen. And we have your shortcuts. This is the place to be. So appearance, workspace, that's the one shortcuts. We are going to go over everything here, but now we're just going to work with custom shortcuts. We wanna make our own. And for later, import, export, that's what we wanna do. Down here, we have an edit button. And the best thing to do is make a new group. So. Why a new group? Because later on we can export a group and import a group, right? So new group, use maybe your own first name. And you're definitely gonna know that's mine. I've created that, right? And inside that folder, so depending what is blue, you're going to make a keyboard shortcut. So keep in the personal folder here, edit, new, global, command. I'm gonna program now is variety and you know what variety is it's this little icon here and this icon can change your wallpaper like so so that's in the command line variety minus s minus p previous and well it did okay now it does it and there is also favorite if you like something it's already in the favorites it says here so minus f so there are some codes in there and if you don't know them, then you go to the terminal and you say, just give me, help me. All these errors are normal. Do it again because we've had, we had variety active and is now uh, closed. And now you can just read all the code. So minus S I'm going to program, minus P, minus T, minus F and toggle pause. Those are the guys I'm going to program. I've programmed it already. So we'll probably see some messages. But hey, uh, take three of the video. So going back to custom shortcuts, Eric, right, edit, new, global, command. You have to give it a name. I can give it this name. It's not going to be functional. Not going to, well, it's going to work. It's, it's functional, but I mean, let's just type what the command is. I'm going to trash. That's the first thing I want to have. I wanted to trash all the time wallpapers that came in that I didn't like just put it away in the dustbin trash can Friday minus T what's my trigger my trigger click on the button and say all T is my trigger no message everything okay action variety minus T apply don't forget the apply button down here to the right so this line this this doesn't matter but comment neither trigger all t is going to run the action trash the wallpaper fine so in this folder i'm gonna put a new one and that's what i mean if you have to do it again and again on the clean installation you need to be able to uh, next one to be able to save it alt n is next action Variety minus n is going to happen in the terminal. 
edit new global command variety the previous one minus p trigger alt p oops that's something else if you did something wrong great uh, good example click it again alt p and it's saved variety minus p previous apply edit new global command and favorites is one i miss variety minus f and then alt f action variety minus f apply now there's one more so i can go next i can go previous i can trash something and i can favorite something but that's something i want to do as well if i say hey this is just an awesome one i just want this one for all the day there is one as well and that's going to be a toggle pause so it has to be written like this i'm gonna open it up again and read because it needs to be of course super correct right again there we go variety so tp toggle pause and then what i'm gonna use now and that's the problem with well problem it's another desktop environment and what we use is alt arrow up and that's why i've never put any custom shortcuts keys in there because there are lots of keyboard shortcuts in there and i can decide to re reassign this button but maybe you would like to keep it right so i'm gonna say cancel and rather than using the keyboard shortcut that we use in openbox xfc i3 i'm gonna make a new one for this one just if i want to stay on the same wallpaper so toggle pause is going to pause on that wallpaper never change it again unless i press that button again and i'm gonna use alt o the o from toggle right because the t toggle and the p pause well no the t is trash the p is previous so i'm gonna use the o right or you use another keyboard shortcut it's, it doesn't matter really but it does matter that this code is correct so variety minus double dash toggle one dash pulse so i'm gonna I just double checked here if this is the exact code up here okay so now it can go apply now if you assuming that this is gonna work well it's not gonna work alt n alt n next come on previous then no trash no so nothing is going to work it, these are the small things you need to know about plasma it is not blue bam everything activated that's inside this folder all right everything activated it's gonna work alt t it's not gonna work why plasma apply okay now i do like this wallpaper it's a rather nice one so i've already favored it so it's a special one for me so alt f not gonna do anything visually but it's in the dot config variety favorites folder now i can show you alt n as the next one and the next one let's put this one aside alt t i trash this alt t i trash this oh it's a nice one next one mm -hmm. we've done that alt t trash this guy alt t trash this guy oh that's what's the previous alt p oh that's the previous alt n and then we have alt o and everything stays on this wallpaper so it's easy as that make your own custom keyboard shortcut there are little tricks you need to know and then you're off to making other um, keyboard shortcuts so we're probably gonna repeat it in other videos as well just uh, as an add-on to just repeat the process but this is where it all happens keep it in one folder because later we are going to use e export group and then put it somewhere safe and then import later back and everything will work all right cheers